Now, I know what you're thinking. Jake, you almost have five million dollars. What's going on? Well, this is the public server, but there's a twist. In this series, I will be focusing on all production chains and kind of the trucking that's involved with it. So we've got a little warehouse, our very starter first piece that is going to get us going with our business. We had six million dollars to start as every single farm did and I wanted to invest as little as possible to make sure we would make our money back. We currently own this little warehouse right here and then diagonally right across the street is our all-in-one production. This is where we will take all of the crop we purchased from the two farms that are on here. The public farm which anyone can join and play and the pickle farm which if you join the Patreon for just one dollar you can play on as well. But this one production facility will make all of the goods that we need to do. I figured that would be better and easier than having a bunch of facilities. And then once again, diagonally across the street, this right here is our fruit production company where we make some yogurts and other delicious fruit snacks. So that's everything we have so far with our trucking company. We've got the very basic, we have one tank truck, and we have one semi with a few trailers. But as you guys can see right here, we've got some other things for you to do on the server. You don't just have to farm. Between the farming, you can come down here and have some fun on the fire department. We've got these old TLX trucks. These things are really awesome. I actually, I did not know we had these and I, I, I found them while I was making this and my favorite part of the fire department for sure. You've also got the emergency services fire truck here as well. And if you guys want more, then we can always add more. Of course, course, this server is console friendly, so anyone playing on console can come and join us on this server, just as anyone playing on PC like I am here today. So if I walk through this barn, you'll see we've also got a couple police trucks, a couple sheriff trucks, canine units. Now this is really cool, but if you do come on to play with these police trucks, just make sure whoever you're pulling over is okay with it, okay? Don't pull over people randomly. All right, make sure they're okay with playing with the role play of being pulled over. If they're not, just let them play how they want to play. Okay? Cool. Thanks. By the way, if you want to play, you can join. The server name is Pickle Jar Public, and the password is Elm Creek with a capital E. If I'm going to switch back over to our production company because we have a lot of work to do today. First thing I want to do is drive around in my little spray tank truck. I'll go out and visit the farms, give you guys a tour of the map. We are on Bucks County, I think, Pennsylvania. I think that's the map. It's actually a really cool, really cool map. I've enjoyed it so far. But we'll go visit with all the farms and see if there's anything we can get them today. They're going to be planting, so we'll probably be busy with seed deliveries, spray delivery as well. Oh my gosh! Woo! Holy cow! <laughs> <sighs> Me and the Lorax almost went around, I'll tell you that. Wowzers. That is a bit of a hill. Next time you're taking a spray truck fully loaded down it, hit the brakes a little sooner, Jake. <laughs> All right, first place we're off to is the public Who's farm. The oh my goodness, wait, oh, out the Lorax and I did go around there. It's okay, I'll tell the insurance company that it jumped out in front of me. This is not the road I thought it was. Where did I miss my turn? Oh, here it is. Found the turn. I passed it up earlier. It said the blue house, boys. As we can see, Suter Boy out there running along. He was working in that field just down there. Oh gosh, Slash Man. Looks like he's got the planner out and going. Very cool, very cool. So this is the public farm right down here. I think it looks really cool. Got a nice road appeal. I'm gonna pull into the bottom drive. As you guys can see, we've got a cool old red barn. I love when those are parts of farms. They just, they just, they, they complete a farm. Got some really nice tin shells sheds around, a whole bunch of fruit trees, oh yeah, grain silos over there, got your repair shop in the back, and you got a couple places for animals and stuff over here, oh, you got some chickens, some bees, maybe even some sheep, now I'm just getting nosy, I'm like driving down their back roads, okay, I need to turn around, <laughs> but this is the public farm, so anybody that joins can come down here and play on this farm completely free, all you gotta do is have the base game of farming simulator, no DLCs needed, I wanted to run down here and make sure that they had enough spray and it looks like they've got a really nice big tank here so they are going to be pretty well topped off but if they need any out there and they don't want to come back to the farm 
then hey that's where i come in handy i guess let's sneak on over to the pickle farm and up there i think they actually have some crop to sell so we're gonna switch over to well actually we're gonna go buy a grain trailer and we're gonna go get pick up some crop <laughs> This is a very beautiful map, though. Honestly, the, the quality of console maps in 22 has been insane. If there's anything positive to say about Farm Sim 22, the quality of console maps has been incredible. All right, pulling back in. We're going to just park the tanker truck right back kind of where... Whoa! Ooh, I gotta learn this thing don't stop too good. Oh, man. Who gave me a CDO? All right, guys. Sneak over here. This is our single axle semi. Look, I started as cheap as I could on my investment. I know the single axle semi is not really gonna handle any of the weight of any of the trailers we're hauling today. But here's the thing. I'm trying to be cheap. Speaking of being cheap, let's see. Oh, man, there's nothing for sale. Dang. We're gonna have to buy a grain trailer outright. This is the greatest tragedy that I've ever seen. I want to rock a 53-footer because I want to I hate how small the roads are and how big my trailer is. Let's do it. Go ahead and pop some mud flaps on there. Mud flaps are very useful. And for $83,200, we'll go ahead and buy our very first grain trailer. And honestly, hopefully the only one that we need. Let's get on up to the store and pick it up. This little dude looks weird. I need to get another truck, but we got to make a little money first, okay? We, we've blown a lot of money starting this company. All right, if we turn left right here, we'll be passing the Pickle Farm, which we'll stop at in just a second. But just up the road from Pickle Farm is the shop area. So let's pull right into here, and we see our brand new grain trailer that we bought. 83 some thousand dollars. This thing better start making us money, but it looks really nice. It looks nicer than our truck. That's for sure. I'm willing to spend money on the trailer because that'll that'll stay with us for a while. We'll upgrade this truck as soon as we can. We, we might keep it around though, a little pup truck. That's not bad. Anyways, we got our 53 foot grain trailer. Let's get on over to our very first client. Put this thing to use the second we get it on the road. That's what I call efficiency. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be fun turning this thing in and out of places. Whew, maybe I shouldn't have gotten one this big. <laughs> Good news. We're here. A pickle farm. <laughs> Not a very long journey. Hey, we turning real good. Hit the like button for that one. I'm doing pretty decent out here for driving on keyboard. I am very excited about this series. I hope you guys are as well. We might have scraped some tree limbs there, but I'm sure it's okay. Now, I need to uh, consult with the manager of the farm here, but we are going to be buying some product today. So I'm going to talk with the manager, figure out what we're buying, and we'll pull up under here and pick it up. All right, so we got the tarp rolled all the way back. We're ready to get this thing backed up underneath to fill up with sunflowers here today we got her almost lined up just gonna pull forward a little farther one thing about it this farm design there is ample room which is very nice gotta be honest usually i'd make things very cramped and i do that just for the challenge but it also i really hate myself because because then it becomes a challenge <laughs> even still i'm having a hard time backing up right now i'll tell you that that's nothing to say about the farm that's just my own skill <laughs> All right, well, I'm here ready to go, but I got to wait for the uh, manager to unlock the silo here. All right, 71,797 liters of sunflower is what we hauling out of here today. That is a lot. So we want to check and see what the price of sunflower is. Now, we will always pay the current top dollar that we see. And currently, I see a high of, what, 805? No, 810. I'm seeing a high of 810 at the farmer's market. So we will pay 810 for 1,000 liters, which means this whole load is going to cost us $58,000 more or less. It's going to be ballpark. So we've got a full trailer, 40,000 liters, and that is not all that they have. So we're going to have to come back for another load. All right. So we're going to get right on out of here and we will actually just pay them once we get everything fully loaded out. So when we come back on the next pickup, we will send them a check here. But for now, we're going to get pulled right out and try and sneak down to our production facility and get things going for our very first piece of production. We've got sunflowers, which means we should be able to turn this into sunflower oil, I believe. Hopefully we'll be able to make some good money off of this. We got deer running out in front of me on the road, man. This is what it's like driving down Pennsylvania, huh? Come on! Your deer out here are looking a little small, though. No disrespect. All right. Nobody coming on the tee. You gotta be careful, man, because sometimes a fire truck's gotta fly through, you know, go into emergencies or something. You never know. I don't know what it is about trucking and farm sim. It's just 
Honestly, one of the most fun experiences about Farming Simulator. I love doing this job. To be fair, <laughs> I'd love to be a truck driver in real life too. Like, it's just always been a passion. <laughs> oh, not a good time to sink. I gotta slam the brakes, buddy. Ooh, Alex, you doomed me, bud. Woo! Oh, we're fine. This truck has great brakes. Holy cow. I just got a phone call as we pull on in here. The public farm is needing some seed. So we gotta get out there and give them some. Now, we could take them some pallets of seed on a flatbed, or we could take them seed loaded up in that conveyor trailer we've got. I'm not exactly sure which one they would like better. But you know what? I was gonna, I was just about to drop this trailer and it's fully loaded. I can't do that. I gotta get this thing unloaded before I sneak over there. So let me drop this grain into the uh, production silo here and so we can switch over our trailers. We'll mark down in our notes that we have 40,000 liters from the pickle farm that we need to pay for. Make the turn, make the turn, make the turn. There you go, boy. That's how you truck. All right. Got her unloading into the production facility. All right, we have completely emptied out the trailer. So I'm actually, you know what? I'm just gonna disconnect it right here in spot because we can just come back and get that later. We'll sneak back across the way. Nobody's coming. And let's get some seed on down to them boys, shall we? Pull up to this trailer, hook up to it, and I'll uh, bring you guys back in once we're trying to find their field. <laughs> All right, so we are filling up with seeds here as we go along. Oh, we missed one. Well. It's fine. <laughs> now, I was talking with them and the receptionist to see if they would need any solid fruit that I should bring in here as well. And they do not. So we're going to just load it up with seed. And that'll be what this trailer handles. At least that much of it. I'm going to leave the other two empty for now. We'll close our cover back up. And we'll take our 27,800 liters of seed on over to uh, field number six zero, I believe. Now, it looks like it's a... Oh, I see. We're probably going to have to enter around 51-ish, 53-ish. All right, we are going to have to be careful because this road we are turning down right now is the one we flew down earlier in our sprayer. All right, easy, hey, easy, nice and slow, here. 10 miles an hour. Here. Listen to that engine. It is trying to keep me slowed down. We were just rolling up to the stop. Really shouldn't take a loaded semi down this. I need to not use this road. All right, let's see if I can make my turn without hitting the tree. Woo, we cleared it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Hit the like button. I'll take that. So we are turning over towards the farm. I actually see slash the person who put in the order for C to see him right there. I wonder if I could just sneak over here and help him out right here on the road, maybe. You know what? Let me try and do a little Yui and we'll see what we can do. All right. Going to try and spin myself around and not get into the farmer's field here, really. We're just gonna have to jackknife her into the trees, boys. I'm sure this is a sight to be seen. Your local co-op come out here and do something like this. <laughs> hey, but this is what you get when you hire Pickle Productions, all right? We professional out here. All right, let's stick our pipe out, and it should most likely be on seed, and it is. Mr. Pipe, where are you? Oh, you on the yeah. rear. Okay. That is not what I expected. I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Krabs. So I'm going to back out into their field just a little ways, and it's going to have to be okay. So right there we are. I've got it backed up. I have no idea how to use this trailer. It's my hope. It actually works. Looks like Super Gamer is pulling on up here. There we go. We got him filling up with seed. So I'm glad to see that. I'm going to let this sit. And we'll sneak back over here for our liquid fertilizer because they need that bad. So we're going to hightail this truck down there. And I'll uh, let them know that liquid fertilizer is on the way. Okay, we've got the fertilized truck right over here. I'm gonna blow my horn just a few times, let them know that I am here, and we'll pull right out to the very first guy who I know needed some liquid fertilizer, and we'll see if he can get filled up. Okay, it looks like we figured it out. So, the uh, fill point is on that side, the passenger side of this, this planter, and it's on the back of the truck. We had a little dance to do, but we got there. So let's see, does the other guy need any? Some solid fruit? Okay, I can go get solid fertilizer. I could have brought it in the first load. All right, we are gonna roll out of here to get them some solid fertilizer. Now they should have some seed already. And I wish they would have told me they needed solid fertilizer because I could have brought it in this trailer load, but we will go pick some more up and then I will run back down here with another trailer load. So let's go get some, some solid furt. Whew. All right. We made it back to town. We're going to get the solid furt. Then I got to switch back to the pickle farm because I have 
soy or uh, sunflowers I still need to pick up there and then I need to pay them for the whole load so we can do that as soon as nope not this place I always do it I always do it I'm gonna get a ticket one of these days from the way I do that need to come over here and fill up with some solid fertilizer now we've got that going in the rear one we can stick it in this middle one as well but honestly that back one is twice the size it probably is enough we'll go ahead and fill it into this one as well all right we're showing back up to that field we pulled into last i'm gonna sneak on in here again and hopefully we can find the you know gentleman we we're looking for i don't know if i need to go to them or they need to come to me all right we're gonna sneak out all the way back through three different fields hopefully we don't get this little two-wheel semi stuck in the mud boys i'm trying to stick to the grass but there ain't really any out here so i'm gonna keep sneaking on through here watching tree limbs trying not to get ourselves bottomed out and stuck in the mud. I see the tractors. Hopefully they got a tow chain in case they can't get out of here. <laughs> All right, we got to sneak through this one more. And this looks like where they want to go. So they need solid fertilizer from what I gathered. So let me get them set up on solid fur. Oh, Solid is in 55, huh? Okay, so the tractor ahead of us is taking us to the guy who needs the solid fertilizer. There's a little miscommunication, and uh, we went to the wrong planner, but it's all right. We're getting led to the correct place right now. We haven't gotten stuck yet, which is a phenomenal feat for this little semi. Make sure you hit the like button for that one. <laughs> and don't forget, you can be a part of these videos as well. Just got to join the server and play along. If you want to find more information about the server and talk with your friends more about it, then don't forget to join our Discord as well. All right, I'm going to be pulling out onto the highway. I'll put my four ways on since we fall on this guy on a tractor. Try and whip my truck right on around my other truck here. Come on, come on, sneak past her. That's how we do it. Oh, we got deer running in front of us. It is a time out here in Pennsylvania, I tell you. Believe it or not, I think the tractor is faster than I am right now. Or at least I'm slower at speeding up. Ooh, a hill. Ooh, a hill. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, don't stop. Let me roll. <laughs> really? You know, I, I'm joking a little bit because this truck is handling this really fantastic for what it is. I got to be honest, did not think it would do as good of a job as it has been. But we'll see what happens when it rains. That'll be a whole new story. Okay, so we're down past the public farm. Looks like if we just turn in right here, this is uh, where we need to go. Looks like that might be who I need to meet with as well. Okay, cool, cool. I'm just going to turn my happy butt right on over this away. And you're going to stick yourself right behind me, sir. And just like that, we'll get you topped off. Does he need any seeds as well? If so, I'm carrying some. He probably wants me to back up under over there, huh? Oh. I, lined, I tried to line it up, and I overdid it. Straight on back, straight on back, straight on back. And, oh, we got to have it, dude. There it is. Come on. Seeds. What? It says fertilizer. Okay. Okay, I can push it again and see if that's fertilizer. Maybe now? Oh, it tells me what is next, not what is current. Yeah. I see. Okay. They should be taken care of. No one else needs seeds as I drive away. Fantastic. So we've got them taken care of. And now I'm going to collect my stuff and we'll focus back in on the pickle farm getting those sunflowers. So we had around 27,800 liters of seed in here. And we've now got about 25, meaning they took about 2,159 liters. So we'll put that in their little order book. All right. Got everything updated there. Let's Let's sneak all of our equipment back over to our depot and move on to the next client of the day. There's always deer on the road out here, man. Jeez. Good hunting. Okay, made it back to the warehouse. Gonna park our seed tatter away. And then we're gonna get the spray tanker back over here at some point. I really wanna go finish hauling those sunflowers. So we are gonna drop this off right here. I'm gonna head right across to our production facility and get our grain trailer picked back up. Look at him, walking so angry. You're mad too, huh? <laughs> hey Patrick, why are you mad? Cause I can't see my forehead. Ah, uh, SpongeBob references in my videos are a tradition at this point. Hit the like button. Who are you people? <laughs> Me every time someone subscribes. Anger man walking down the sidewalk. Look at him. Okay, so we had previously taken 40,000 liters of sunflowers. We're going to be picking up the remainder here. All right, we are pulling in. Back to the pickle farm. 
gonna squeeze on in here between the bushiest farm you ever done seen. My god, what is it, the 70s out here? We got ourselves just about lined up. Point your nose towards the bee hut, and then you back your trailer right on up underneath the spout. And everybody shouts. <laughs> All right, gonna fill it up here with the rest 31,000 going in the rear. Well, not quite. Probably 20 in the rear and then the rest in the front. When I get DOT inspected today, I'm just going to let them know she's thick. Are we going? We're not getting a full load here. No. Yep. All right. 80%. That is looking good. Another 31,798 liters going. I got to hop out and tarp up real quick, but then we're going to get down the road. All right. Tarps up. We're rolling. They even got deer sitting on this farm. You know, if they start building fences around them, they'd probably just be able to start becoming deer farmers out here. I'm gonna stay just wide here because we're gonna make this next turn. And why uh, make it more hard on myself when I could just, you know, make it easier. That's my philosophy in life. So many deer. I, I think we maybe nicked one there. Okay. Y'all ever seen Bambi before? Hit the like button. There's something fun about driving this truck around though. I know it's, it's a little small guy, but you know, we might just add another axle on her or something, eh? She's kind of reliable, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. But we're going to make sure that we've got 31, 7, 98 liters put into our book here as well. We'll pass through the little chicanes outside of town, and we'll be back home in just a second. These low tree branches, man. Woo! Oh, watch them. Whoa. Dang, son. Somebody got to treat him. I wonder. That would be a good job for somebody. Maybe uh, maybe we need to get a, a county maintenance facility or something. We'll see. They can mow the ditches, trim the trees, plow the snow. That'd be kind of fun. Is there a speed limit in town? Because I'm going 40 miles. Okay, something tells me I'm speeding. I need to slow down. <laughs> but hey, we made it here to the production facility. I'm going to pull in the tiniest driveway for a semi you've ever seen. And whip right around our silo that somehow city approved right here in downtown. Guess you could say we're grandfathered in. We're going to dump the last couple on in here. And while we do, figure up the bill. So we had 40,000 liters. And then we had another 31,798 for a total of 71,798. Divide that by 1,000 because we pay per thousand. So that's 71.79. And times that by the price, we agreed 810 was as high at the time of the sale, making it a $58,156 sale. So I need to go into here, click on Pickle Farm and not grant contractor, so well, excuse here, me, said. and transfer some money. We need to transfer 58,000, well, 58,200 is what we're going to do. Because that's the closest we're going to get. Go ahead and transfer that over. They've been paid, and we will use their crop to turn it into a product and then sell that product. Fuzzies, number two, agrees. And if you like fuzzies, number two, or fuzzles, fuzzles, fuzzles two, then... You know, hey, if you're Fuzzles 2 watching this video, uh, first just, off, hi. Um, Second off, there, like and subscribe. Is there, like, Seriously, if you're on the server and you're not subscribed, I'm... What? Hello? All right, so now that we've paid people that we owe, we they need to collect money that we're owed. But I guess we could do that at the end of the season. So we'll wait until they're done planting because they might have to order some more product. We'll go ahead, pull the trailer around. We're going to need to get a power washer for this stuff, man. Driving out in these fields and getting our stuff all uh, kinds of dirty. Yes, that's what's tractors, happened when you work so with I farmers, eh? I need to stuff. figure out a good uh, way to, to get all these farms to build some loading ramps so it will be easy for us to haul stuff. I'll probably work with them on that and we'll get that going in the future because that flatbed with the forklift will be really nice for hauling stuff for our fruit, our fruit company and, you know, really a, all of our pallets. We're going to slot this in next to our conveyor trailer. And it's at this time you're saying, okay, Jake, you know, I thought you were, you know, we're doing pretty good. You had a lot of land going on here with the business. But now I'm starting to think you need a little bit more room. You're not wrong. We are already down from $6 million to one four point eight, And I want to make sure we're making money. So let's make sure that we're at least doing the right things before we spend any more. But once we know what we're doing is working, I think we will eventually build ourselves a big brand new warehouse. All right, got that trailer parked away. Oh, somebody hit my deal into a tree. And we got back over here for the spray truck. We're gonna get the fertilizer 
back over to our facility as well unless anybody needs more fertilizer but i don't think that's the case otherwise we would have gotten a call so we'll just take it back for now whoa floating deer in the road sometimes you hate to see it sometimes you love to see it depends on your mood <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun here on the public server. I think this is a really great restart of the server, and I think things are going really strong. If you guys are enjoying it as well, and you want to be a part of it, it's really easy. All the information will be down in the comments below. And get this video to 1,500 likes, and we'll do a part two.